Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video about my favourite piece of equipment. My DJI Spark. In this video I just wanted to get across my thoughts on the Spark as a whole. I've had mine just over a year now. And I just want to get across a few really good points about it and why I still use it as my main drone. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows the drone is lovely and small, literally, it's basically a smartphone with wings, that's what I like to call it. Easily fits in the little bag they give you, along with spare batteries and the controller and that sort of thing. Really handy to take away and you can get it up and flying within about five minutes normally. So the video and photo quality is exactly what I need from a drone. I'm not one of these people that spends hours a day flying a drone. I use it to just enhance my vlogs and to get a different perspective on things. What I really like is the fact that I can take it out, chuck the battery in, load up the app on my phone, connect it to the controller and get it in the air, usually within a couple of minutes and um, not too much mess about. Compared to many other sort of top DJI drones, the Spark is by far the most affordable. Um, for me, it does everything I need within a decent price bracket. And now you can, now they've been out a while, you can pick them up for a really decent price, especially compared to some of the newer DJI drones like the Mavic Air. Now I'm not gonna pretend it's the most perfect drone in the world. As with everything, there are always improvements that could be made. <laughs> So the battery life is, is okay for what I need. I'm one of these people that usually plans the shot I want before I go and try and get it. So I know where I've got to fly, how high, all that sort of stuff. So I pre-plan all of that, which means I only need a few minutes of battery time to actually get my shot. Generally, you can fly one battery for about 15 minutes, probably a little bit less realistically. And that, that can be a bit of a hindrance sometimes if you want to get a really, really long shot and you want to go a little bit further away and try a few different things from the same place. Now the range of the drone is pretty good, but the range of the actual heads up display you've got, so the actual, um, the live image is a little bit limited. It's only as good as the Wi-Fi connection between your phone and the drone itself. So quite often by the time you've got a couple of hundred feet away, um, you will start to lose the image. Now the drone will fly at this height and it'll fly at this distance, no problem, but it's actually seeing what you're shooting that's the problem, that, that image will start to go eventually. This is why some of the other drones, um, things like the sort of Mavic, they're pretty good for that sort of thing because it's a radio frequency, not the Wi-Fi frequency, which means actually you can fly for further and get a better image in front of you. The only other limitation that I find with it really is the fact that you can't change the frame rate. It's got lots of manual settings on there for the camera, but what I'd really like to do is be able to get some slow shots and some slow motion at a higher frame rate. I love shooting in slow motion, who doesn't? And that's where the spark kind of falls down a little bit. Um, it would be great if it had like a 60 frames per second or even 120 frames per second mode on there already. Now I know you can get the newer drones like the Mavic Air, um, which again are nice and portable and they have that slow motion feature as well as 4K. All in all then, would I really recommend the Spark as like a long-term drone solution? For me personally, yes, I don't need anything else. It, it kind of gives me everything that I want um, from a drone. I can take off quickly, I can get the shot that I want and I can land it again, pack it away without any fuss. There's minimal pre-flight checks to do and it delivers everything that I want from a drone, so I'm really happy with it. You might be thinking that's all very well, but you know, what have I shot with a drone in the last year? What are my what are my top drone clips? So I'm gonna run you down my top seven drone clips that I've taken in the last 12 months and the reasons why I like them so much. Number seven is one that I actually took this year. It's basically a shot of some beautiful rolling hills near the Forest of Dean. Um, me and my girlfriend, Amy, we went down there for for a couple of days uh, to visit some friends and family and we just so happened to be staying at this beautiful place with this massive field where we could get these beautiful drone shots right over the hills. The reason I like it is because it looks like a window screen saver. Number 
number six then is a shot from Spit Beach, which is in St. Austell, um, near where I live. Actually, if I look out the window, we can almost see it. The reason I like this shot is because it was completely by accident. I was just trying to get the drone out to sea a little bit. Um, I looked down at the at the image I had, and it was just the, it was just the way the waves went over the rocks um, in the opposite direction to the drone. <laughs> Number five then, now this was actually one that I took on my very first outing with the Spark. It was the first time I took it off beginner mode, it was literally like a day or two after I bought it and there's nothing that special about the shot other than I like the perspective. It was also the first time I would used the, some of the automated features on there. So this um, was basically a, an automatic sort of pull away drone shot where the sort of drone goes back about 20-30 metres and then up into the sky afterwards. Um, me, me and Amy we sort of posed for it and I didn't have to do any flying, I just pushed the button and held the controller and off it went. Number four then is another coastal one. You'll probably realise in a minute that most of my drone shots are actually taken by the sea and that's just because that's where I live and it's a really good opportunity to fly when you have a nice quiet beach there. Now this one is from Vogt Beach, again in Cornwall. Um, the reason I love this shot is because, it again, I didn't really plan it. I took the drone out to film a um, sort of little tutorial on how to take those 360 photographs. So while I was doing that, I shot some B-roll, um, got the drone up in the air and just happened to get this beautiful lighting on the sea, which was like kind of a greeny, bluey hue to the sea. Um, and with these huge waves that were crashing down, it just looked, it just looked epic. On well, this completely empty beach, just me, and these massive waves that looked great. Number three then was actually taken fairly recently and um, you might remember back in sort of April, May, I sort of took the kayaks around to a, a little beach and it's, it's one of my and Amy's favourite things to do. We take our kayaks out, find a little beach and usually have a little, have a little uh, day on the beach. drone this time, got the drone up and then I realised that the water was like the Caribbean and considering that yeah, this is literally where I live, this is my hometown, I had no idea the water was that clear. Number two then, it's kind of a little montage of clips, it's the only time I've flown my drone outside of the UK, um, it's when I went to Thailand back at the end of last year. Again, I just got so lucky with some of the conditions we had. Um, we had loads and loads of storms while we were there, but then occasionally the, the days would just brighten up and we'd get these epic shots around the coast. Finally then, we come to number one, my favourite all-time drone clip, and it's this. I 
see this picture all the time. It's on my Facebook profile. I've got a big printout of it. Um, I haven't put it up in the room yet, but it will go up. I love this shot. I got so lucky. It was completely unplanned. Me and Amy went to the beach, as always, took a little picnic, took the drone. The sun just happened to set right in between Gull Rock um, in Newquay, and I just got the sun coming through this channel, uh, and, it, and it was just absolutely beautiful. It was literally this time last year, actually. I've had that shot about a year now. Um, I still can't get enough of it, and it's, it's a little bit irritating that I feel like I peaked too soon. I feel like I got my best drone clip within six weeks of having the drone, and I haven't even got close to matching that since. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it's been helpful. If you are considering sort of getting yourself a drone, consider the DJI Spark, just because it's affordable, it's portable, and it's actually a really good starter drone for someone getting into photography and cinematography. You've got all the safety controls there, but actually for a fraction of the cost compared to some of the big boys. That's me all done guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on a video soon.